Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for being with me today. Today we're gonna do my Boxy Charm Boxy Lux unboxing. And I've been very excited to share the Boxy Lux with you because if you don't know about Boxy Charm, basically it's a $21 monthly subscription box. It is beauty based and then every three months, so seasonally, you can choose to upgrade your box for an extra $28, making it like about $53 after tax. Um, and you get, I think they say it's about $250 to $300 value worth of goodies inside a really big box. So I have had BoxyCharm since the beginning of 2018, decided to upgrade. I think we missed the very first BoxyLux, then we upgraded. If this is going to be a little bit of a longer video because I want to talk about what happened before I even got my box because it really, really frustrated me. And I have, since we started the channel, been a very huge advocate of BoxyCharm. I loved them for a very long time. Their products are very good quality. They're brands that I like, and I always get at least one or two brands that I already know, along with some other brands that I don't yet know, which is what I like in a subscription box, something that I know is quality, and then getting to try new products and new brands that I haven't used yet. This so box is originally a gift from Nikki, so it's been on Nikki's credit card since we had it. I get an email at the beginning of the month saying that our charge was not going through. And so I texted him and I was just like, hey, is this an issue? Do I need to put it on my card? And he was like, no, I have the money for it. So he contacts them, supposedly fixes it. And then I get another email the next day saying that it still didn't go through. And that I was going to lose my spot on the Boxy Lux. So I just texted him and I was like, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and put mine in for this month because I don't want to lose my spot. So I put in my credit card. And my credit card had a $0 balance. It has a high credit line. And I also get a rejection email. So I'm like, all right, so this isn't me. So I email them and I tell them, hey, something's happening. This is not on our end. It's two different people's accounts, two different people's financial situations. Both are being rejected. Mine personally, I know, had more than enough room to accept a $50 charge. There's no reason I didn't, it didn't go through. And I get basically a, uh, it wasn't an auto response, but it might as well have been because they literally took their billing information and you, when you have issues with your billing information and copy and pasted it into an email and basically told me this isn't on, on us, this is on you, you should probably contact your bank. So then I was pissed because I know my finances and I know my financial situation and if I thought it were my money that were the issue here, I wouldn't contact you. So I shot back a sassy email because I was upset and they never responded. So then I messaged them on Instagram and I was basically like, look, I was written off by whoever emailed me back and it very much frustrated me. I've been a huge advocate, but I'm trying to give you guys money and you're basically acting like I'm somehow either too poor to afford it or it's somehow I don't know what's going on in my life and so I, that's really how it came across so I was very very pissed when I sent this this Instagram message so then I tried my third credit card which I never use so it absolutely had a zero dollar balance on it it also has my highest credit line on it because I've had it the longest so they always give me like hey we're giving you an x amount of money more towards this card so this has a high high balance or a high credit line, zero dollar balance, no reason it shouldn't go through, it also does not go through. However, I get an email from my credit card saying that they received a charge from BoxyCharm. So I'm getting an email from BoxyCharm saying you're not being approved, but I'm also getting an email from my credit card company saying that I've been charged. So now I'm really pissed. So finally Instagram emails me back and they're like, so sorry, we're gonna look into it, we're gonna get somebody to contact you. And actually their Instagram team handled it very well. So I, that was the only saving grace for this. Finally, I check it the next day and it does say that my account is now active, not failing renewal. So I've gotten my boxy lux. I don't get an email from them until almost a day later that says, hey, just so you know, we figured out the issue. Sorry, you should be getting your box. And honestly, after everything I went through, I get it, issues happen, but just the way it was handled and how frustrated I was, I was really like, I'm kind of done with BoxyCharm, which is a big deal for me because I've been a huge advocate, a huge supporter. I almost had my mom signing up for it. In fact, she was going to sign up for this month and then she saw the issues that I had with my credit card and she held off on doing it. So really, I'm very, very frustrated about the whole situation. I did still receive my Boxy Lux, and that's what I'm here to do today now that I've ranted for five minutes is to unbox the Boxy Lux. And actually, I did open it. I'll explain that story too because the box looks atrocious. But that's my fault. Um, 
and I was impressed with what I got, but I'm still not over what happened because I was, I was just incredibly frustrated. Um, so I've been looking for other subscription boxes. If you have suggestions on high quality ones that are around the same price point, $20 to $50, I would really like to know. I've been thinking about doing the Ipsy upgrade. I've looked into it. The only thing with the Ipsy upgrade is you can either do a $25 one or if you want the really big one, you have to do $50 every month. $50 every month is very high for me. I'm okay paying $50 every couple months, but that just seems like a lot right now when we're still not creating revenue from the YouTube channel. So I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet, but I'm definitely open to suggestions and if you have any, I would love to hear them. Now, <laughs> this is the box. Here, I'm going to not show my, my address, but this is the box. It looks really rough and I'll explain that as well. So I did quit my, I quit my job. Well, I cut my hours back to half to part time and I'm only working in the middle of the night now. So I have my days free to film. Well, my last day was long shift. I was there from 6am to 5pm and, um, it decided to monsoon rain at about 3pm that afternoon. Well, my boxy charm was sitting on the front porch and just was absolutely soaked by the time I got home. So I flipped out. I should have probably let the box dry and then I could have opened it. It might've been a little warped. But instead, I literally um, just kind of tore into it and it disintegrated into my hands because I was worried that some of the products had gotten wet. And I do have to hand it to BoxyCharm. They know what they're doing with their packaging. This nice little foam that they include with the box protected everything in it. It kind of absorbed the water. Um, so none of my products were wet or damaged. Um, even the little card that says the price points of all the products, they were not, that was not damaged either. So good job on packaging. I was very impressed because I really was worried. But I originally was not gonna, I was gonna open it on air for you guys and then when I came home and saw that it was literally um, a sopping mess of sadness, I decided to open it. And then I looked at the products because at that point it was open. So um, yeah, so I know what I got and I'm very happy with it actually. I, I really do feel like I got quality products and I got the products I was kind of hoping I would get. So um, the Boxy Lux this month, I got eight products. And um, I would say the retail value is probably pretty close to about $300. Uh, they do have price points for everything on these cards, but um, just initial inspection of it, I would have guessed that it would have been around $300 for the box. Um, and the first thing I got, I'm really excited about, it is a Sutra Beauty Clipless Curling Iron. And I don't curl my hair often because I'm not good at curling irons. They scare me. Um, and clipless ones really scare me. But it's really nice. It has a very nice barrel. And what I think I'm going to do is I've seen a lot of people when they're doing hair tutorials, they have purchased the um, heat resistant gloves to be able to actually, with the hand that they're curling with, touch the, the wand itself, touch their hair, and not burn themselves. I think I'm going to invest in one of those because they're not super expensive. I think like I probably can find a decent one for about $20 or $30. The retail value for that one is... $65, which for a clipless curling iron, I would say you'd probably for a decent brand would pay $65. So very happy about that one. Um, the next thing I got is the Tidal Brightening Enzyme Water Cream from Sunday Riley. This is an expensive cream. I've gotten some sample sizes in this. This one is 1.7 ounces. It is a giant bottle. It is a nice, like that plastic glass feeling that the really heavy plastic. It smells good too, but inside you get like a very good amount of product. You can see, um, and I actually used it yesterday. I opened it up just to smell it and I got a little bit on my fingers and I wasn't wearing makeup so I went ahead and put it on my face. And um, I liked it, it worked very well. I did feel like it kind of gave my skin a little bit of dewiness in terms of appearance. I didn't put on makeup yesterday so I kind of could see like how it naturally illuminated my skin and made me look a little bit less tired. Um, and the Sunday Riley Brightening Cream uh, retails at $65 as well. So I would never pay $65 for a face cream, but I know that this is actually what the price is. So I'm sure people out there have spent that on it or wait for it to go on sale. So to get it in a subscription box that's only a $50 value, or that's only $50 in cost is a very, very good value. I'm gonna continue on the face, the face cream recovery skincare train, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and I got a Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. And I love Dr. Brandt. Um, I actually first used his products because of BoxyCharm. And um, I now have several of his products from BoxyCharm and I really, really like it. So uh, this is the Hydro uh, Biotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. It is a 1.7 ounce container as well. Um, and I believe you're supposed to put it on, yep, so apply to a clean, dry face before bedtime and do not rinse it. You're supposed to use it nightly. I probably will not just because you guys know a lot of times because I'm working now at 1am 
and I used to work at 3 a.m. I would just sleep in my makeup so I didn't have to worry about getting up and doing anything with my face. So it's probably unfortunately what I'm going to do a lot of the time now. The Dr. Brandt face mask, I don't think I said what that was. That is a retail value of $52. All right, I also got this IGK, and I don't know this brand, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know this brand at all. It is a hydrating hair balm. It is for, it is a leave-in conditioner that won't weigh your hair down for dry, coarse, frizzy hair. I don't have dry or coarse hair, I have very oily hair, but my hair does get frizzy. Um, so I'm excited to try this. It's probably something I'll save until next summer or springtime. I don't feel like my hair normally gets frizzy normally, but I feel like this is going to be something that's really handy to have when we're in Florida next year. You guys know we're spending four weeks in Florida for, for um, Disney World next year, once in April, one week in April, and then three weeks over the summer. So I feel like this is going to be a nice tool to have with me there where it is consistently and incredibly humid all the time. Um, so I'm probably, I might try it before then just to see how it works, but I'm probably going to mainly save it for that. But this is a huge bottle. This is five fluid ounces. So this is like a really good size bottle. I can't imagine that I wouldn't get a, just a ton of usage out of it. Um, and the retail value for this one is $29. So, all right, I'm going to pull out the two little ones next. The first one is a Hank and Henry, Hen, Hank and Henry. Slick with it, blickety black long wear lickety, <laughs> liquid eyeliner. That is a tongue twister, but it is in the shade blickety black. That's what the blickety black was. Um, and I saw Alexandria Ryan unbox her boxy looks. She mentioned she was a little bit sad that it was black when it has this really cool like purple iridescent shade on the top. I agree with her. I was, I'm really wanting like, there's such a big trend in colored eyeliners and colored mascaras and I just have yet to see that in a subscription box. And I would really like to see it because it would be a nice change up, but I mean, you guys know I'm not a huge eyeliner fan, but I did just purchase something that I think might make me use eyeliner a little bit more. You guys will see that when I do my next Ulta haul video. Um, and this may be a nice thing to work in conjunction with that. So I'm excited to test that one out. It is a retail value of $20, which I would say is about standard for an eyeliner. Um, and then moving right along into the... Um, Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick, which I have showed you guys. I did that on my Stila highlight video. I used one of the minis. I got a large size in it. It is Rubino. I am almost positive this is what I have the minis in, so I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with this guy yet. Um, I may save it. I may put it in a giveaway. I, I just haven't decided yet. Um, it's not that it isn't a beautiful color. It's just that because I know I have, I think, at least two of the minis of it, I don't think I'm ever going to wear that much red lipstick in my life, to be honest. So it may be smarter for me to save it for a giveaway. Um, but I just haven't fully decided yet because one of the larger things that I received in this box is definitely going towards the giveaway because I do have a duplicate of that. Yeah, so we'll see what I decide to do at that. This is a retail value of $22. So once again, a nice value in this. Um, and then we have the... I was really excited. They had, I think, three different eyeshadow palettes that they offered. Uh, this month. This was probably the smallest one I think that they had, but it was the one that I wanted the most because um, it's a brand that I've gotten from them that I really, really like. It is the Violet Voss Essentials Pro Series eyeshadow palette. This is what the front looks like. And it's really pretty 10 shade uh, eyeshadow palette. There's a lot of bright colors, a lot of really pretty fall shades in there. And it's a good mix between mattes and um, shimmers, which I'm a huge fan of. And it retails at $29. Um, like I said, they, I know they had a Tarte one. But anyway, it was a really pretty eyeshadow palette. I was really, I was really hoping that I was going to get this one. Um, even though the other ones that they offered were really nice as well. I just like the colors a lot in this one. You guys know I always like bright colors. And so the bright colors in this one, I was very excited about them. The final thing that I got in the box, um, this is the duplicate item that I received. It is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. I actually purchased this with Beauty Brands gift card that I had gotten for Christmas forever ago. And so when I got it, I only paid $11 out of pocket for it because there was a sale going on and I had a $25 gift card. So I got a great deal on mine. And it's one of my favorite contour palettes. It's just, I don't feel like I need to because it's huge. And I feel like I'm never gonna ever get through all the shades even though they're super neutral and workable. But this is what this beautiful palette looks like inside, and then this is what the outside of the palette looks like. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I think it's one of the prettiest 
um, palettes that Tarte offers. It smells beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I think it's going to make a really nice addition to the thousand subscriber giveaway that we'll be doing um, whenever we hit a thousand subscribers. So I encourage you to please subscribe because the sooner you subscribe and encourage your friends to, the sooner we'll hit that mark and I can give this bad boy away. So that one retails at $45, a very nice contour palette. Um, I believe I haven't added everything up. I'm not going to because we're um, already at a lot of time right now. But I would say it's probably over a $300 box. Um, with the headache that I dealt with trying to get the box, um, it's very frustrating. Yes. It's very stressful. Yes. But it all got figured out um, eventually. And the box and the products I received, I was very happy with. So overall, I probably will keep Boxy for next month. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like our channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell. We are very, very, very close to hitting 100 subscribers. I am so beyond excited. We've been getting a lot of people who are subscribing who are not like my friends and family, which is a big deal. A lot of people are commenting and reaching out and that's amazing. It feels great. They've been incredibly supportive so far. And our 100 sub giveaway, the video is up for it. Nikki will link it down below so you can see it. It's really got some great stuff in it, and I really want to give it to one of you awesome people. So please encourage your friends to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Um, and as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.